Hello, my name is Rusty Martis, and I want to welcome you to Veterans and Bars Getting Bourbon. I am a retired Air Force Mustang and an OEF veteran, and today we have a special, unique show. Now, I, I am going to uh, pour and taste test the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale today for today's show. Now, I know um, we're pushing the envelope a little bit by doing a beer that was... Uh, been housed and stored in bourbon barrels. Uh, the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale um, is kept in bourbon barrels for up to six weeks. Um, it is an award-winning English Strong Ale. It has about 8.19% alcohol by volume, so it's a little bit heavier than a lot of the other ones, but we'll give this a, a tasting here in just a minute. So again, welcome the veterans and bars getting bourbon. We're here uh, with Veterans and Bars getting bourbon. This is a special, unique show, so we got it set up a little bit differently. Um, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but uh, kind of a hint. We are doing a beer that's stored in bourbon barrels instead of doing a bourbon tasting this evening. And it'll make sense here in just a few moments when we get into the actual footage of the show. Um, please stick around for it because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I know I was, uh, I, I laughed the entire time we were filming it, so I hope you enjoy it just as much as, uh, as I did by shooting it and working with the people that we were able to work with for this particular episode. Speaking of this episode, we always choose a particular bourbon um, for the guests that were heavy. We have several different types of guests, but the big star of the day is John Blaylock, who's going to be joining us. Um, on the show here just recently and uh, I think this will make total sense here in just a few minutes So I'm gonna pop this open and we'll give it a, a taste and we'll see how it goes So like I said earlier, it is an English Strong ale. It's 8.19% uh, alcohol by volume. You see it pours has a nice uh, copper um, pour to it and It looks really good um, and the nose really is, you can smell kind of that uh, kind, of, kind of oaky smell to it, which makes sense since it is uh, stored in bourbon barrels for up to six weeks. Um, a little bit of tint, um, hint of some fruit. You notice the collar is uh, pretty typical for a, an English ale. Um, wow, that's really, really good. You can definitely taste the English piece of the puzzle on this ale, but it has that uh, kind of just hint of bourbon taste to it and a little bit of vanilla that comes um, around as well. It's um, very, very smooth. Um, you know, a lot of the English ales can be a little bit heavier. This one's very smooth. That is really good. If you like beer and you like bourbon, this is a match made in heaven for sure. Well, I'll be back at the end of the show to wrap things up, but uh, please subscribe, make your comments below, and uh, let us know how you like this version. It's totally different than what we normally do, and we'll get back uh, a little bit to kind of the standard uh, operating procedure, for lack of a better term, next month, but we had a lot of fun shooting this, and I hope you enjoyed as well. Cheers, everybody. Okay, next.
that's on the list is uh gotta find that uh who was it that did that um that newscast show that newscast show ah yeah there it is oh yeah got it hey hello Vinny Carpaza, agent of the stars. Hey, you, you represent Blaylock? Uh, yeah, I am. What did he do? Well, no, actually, uh, what I'm uh, interested in is uh, maybe having Blaylock come in and talk about or, you know, may possibly do a show for us. You okay? Sorry about that. Uh, something ran out in front of me. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, he'd be interested. Uh, well, are you familiar with his work? No, I'm not really familiar with his work, but I understand that uh, he's local, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a local local guy right here in Independence. Uh, but, you know, let me see. He's a really busy guy. He stays pretty busy. Let, let me check my schedule here and let's... Let me see if I got anything that uh, he's available. Well, I tell you what, he's really booked up the next couple weeks, but uh, could you, like, come down to the office maybe and say a half hour? Oh, 30 minutes? Yeah, that's perfect. Where are we going to meet? Absolutely. I'll be there. Thanks, man. John Blaylock, channel... Hello? Hey, John. Vinny Carpazzi. How's it going? Hey, Vinny. I ain't heard from you forever. Please tell me you got something. Hey, something just came down the pipeline for you, buddy. Got a big-time opportunity here. What do you got, Vinny? We back on the networks? It's not quite a network show, but it's a... Oh. Blue chip nominated. They don't just give them things out to anybody. You're not kidding, but listen. They want you as the face of the show. What is it like a cable news show? I'll be there, Vinny. Public access! Vinny, I'm John Blaylock! I understand, John. I've been on the networks! Listen to me right now, this is it. I'm this a world famous newsman! Yeah, this is all we got right now. You haven't worked in two years. This guy contacted me. He said, listen, I want John Blaylock. We gotta do this. This is a chance to get back into action here. I don't know, Vinny. I don't know. Okay, listen to the concept of the show, okay? It's it's, you're interviewing veterans, all right? Who doesn't love veterans? They'll eat that stuff up. It's fluff work. I mean, you can do this in your sleep. It's like a half-hour show. Do some shoots for Desert Storm when I was back with the networks. I wouldn't bring that up. You know, you did go right down the road to a sand volleyball court and shot your scenes like you were pretending to be in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and probably wouldn't go over too well. So listen to this, so. So what's the concept of this? The veteran, something about bourbon. So I brought you some bourbon, okay? So you got to sell like you love this. I need like 10 beer before I even touch that stuff. Well, listen, you know, you just open it up, tell them like, hey, I know all you need to know about bourbon, you know? Whatever they use in bourbon, who knows? But, you know, he probably don't even know either. So, you know, and listen, this guy, he's a newbie. Well, please for a good deal, you're going to get good money, you're back in the game, and before you know it, the networks are calling saying, hey, we want John Blaylock back, right? All right, and they already do this. If this yeah. guy needs John Blaylock to save his silly little show, I'll do it. We can do this. Listen, you'll be here shortly. Tell me, tell me, it's a good show, it's a good show. It, 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 it's something, you know what I'm saying? It's something. I'm a newsman. But yeah, this, this is, I'm telling you, it's going to get your name back out there. Right? That's it. Okay, here he is now. Hey, come on in. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, hey. 
Rusty Bar is greater. Yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah, you know, you get used to it. All right, so let's get back to so, the steel. So we're, so we're talking... 1% uh, all sales. 1%? You're stuck on this 1%? Deal. Deal. I like it. Wait, wait a second. Let's sign it. All right here, Mr. Blaylock. Just initial right here. Oh, initial right God. there, sir. Hey, should you read this first? It's a standard uh, contract. It looks like a standard contract to me. Beautiful. Sign right here, and you have yourself a deal. Is this You're really in like all kinds of dollars. John Blaylock drinks bourbon with that. Not really. But we'll talk. We'll about work that. on that. Okay. We'll work we'll on we're gonna work later. on that. Listen. Perfect. You're Beautiful. gonna go from like two thousand and eight hundred million to like lights. number three lights. trending on YouTube Beautiful. in no time with this guy awesome. at the helm. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? We're shooting in two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two we'll weeks. be there. Yeah. 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 Hope to see you there. Yeah. Me. Celebrate with you. Celebrate. Work on that. Work on that. Hey, we're gonna do that. Alright, we're shooting an episode of Veterans and Bars Drinking Bourbon. So I'm going to need a uh, round of your finest bourbon for the crew. I apologize, sir, but we don't serve bourbon here. All we serve is we have draft beer. Ooh. Okay, uh, give me a Bud Light draft. Copy that. What that do you that for? It's going to be uh, Veterans and Bars Drinking Beer tonight. Right up. John Blaylock just rounded up a veteran here at this and that barbecue in Florence. Uh, yeah, uh, can we get your name? My name is William Vestring. Again, what do you want? We're doing a little show here. It's called Veterans and Bars Getting Bur Beer. I already did that. If you're interested in seeing my story, visit the Tri-State Veterans Community Alliance Facebook page. Or Nobody watched that episode because... Now John Blaylock's running the show. You're going to get some views, so you're going to want to be interviewed by me. And Jay, John Blaylock can watch it just like everybody else. All righty. Well, John Blaylock here signing off. John Blaylock here at Smoking This and That Barbecue in Florence. Enjoying an episode of Veterans in Bars Drinking Bourbon. <laughs> or, or tonight it's, beer. it's beer. <laughs> We're here with Dave Crookham. Dave Crookham. Dave, what branch of the military are you in? The Marine Corps. We got an ex-Marine here. Probably seen a few okay. kills. Actually, once a Marine, always a Marine. Once a Marine. <laughs> uh, we got a... You ever drove a tank? I have not. You ever shot I, anybody? I, I drove a flying bus, though. What are you doing now? <laughs> Now I, right now I'm, I'm, I'm in the reserve. All right, back to the flying bus. What, what, what exactly is a flying bus? Have you ever seen a helicopter? I that, picture a bus with like kids and picking them up for school or something. Well, I, I feel I flew with Marines. It's kind of like that. I like that. <laughs> so now I flew, uh, we, I flew a, um, a flying bus. It was a helicopter. We transported the most dangerous weapon in the entire world. Wait, what is the most dangerous weapon in the entire world? A United States Marine and his rifle. I'll buy that. <laughs> so uh, what, are you, what are you doing now that you're out of the Marines? So uh, my day job, I, I, uh, I sell manufacturing equipment, but that's, that's boring. It's important, but it's boring, but my... my yeah, compared to flying a bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's all good, but my, my night job is the uh, Marine for Life coordinator for um, the Marine Corps, so Marine for Life representative. Have you ever shot anybody? I have not. Have you seen some action? I was not actually in combat in my 12 years, but uh, I did a lot of flying. So the bus kind of swung around the war zones, just kind of outside. We, we were... The skirts. We were there. We were ready, but we never got called into action. We were in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, two bus deployments were in the Gulf of Aden. Um, on the ship. So what do you think of this and that? I th I love this place. It's a great atmosphere. It's very veteran We're expecting friendly. a lot of veterans to come in tonight, but uh, they're slowly trickling in. So.
John Blaylock, this and that barbecue. We're here with a few veterans at this table. What mil uh, what branch of the military did you serve? Uh, we wasn't into all that, man. No, we, we didn't okay. serve. Uh, Sorry about that. I can't remember. We're kind of busy here. <laughs> How do you separate the men from the boys in the Navy? I don't think oh, they do that. With a crowbar. <laughs> oh, jeez. John Blaylock signing off. So, yes. We just interviewed him. We just filming our, filming your conversation. <laughs> uh, now there's no conversation. <laughs> We're going to step away. Hello. Can I, can I get your autograph? Why, well, certainly. Always this is glad to sign so for a amazing. fan. Thank you so much. Oh, I thought you were calling me out. Hey, we're here smoking this and that barbecue with uh, Lynn Arnold. We got Lynn Arnold. And we're, uh, Lynn, what, what, what's your connection with the military here? We're doing an episode of something bourbon and bars with veterans. I am the unit commander for the Northern Kentucky Young Marines. Have been... Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, ZZ Top. How about let me do my thing and then you'll do your thing. All right, Lynn. All right, then. Back. Hey, hey, Bob Seeger. Hey, how about? Hey, no, listen, man. He don't look nothing. I don't look nothing like him, but he does very strong. I don't look nothing like him. All right, we're 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 back here with Lynn. Lynn, uh, what the? Lynn, what's your connect? Yeah, you know what. You know who I am here? I'm John Blaylock. I'm John Blaylock. I'm doing a show here. Oh, okay, John. Do you know who we are? I don't know who you are. We are Sunny and the d and We are a blues band, okay? And we're here because we pay for the year. I used to be a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. All right, we're back here with... <laughs> This interview is over. I think it was a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back here at this and that barbecue with uh, Lynn Arnold. With Lynn Arnold. Uh, Lynn, what's your connection with the military here? Number one, I support the military. Number two, I'm a volunteer with the Young Marines Program, Northern Kentucky Unit. Have been for 10 years. <laughs> and I have two kids that are active duty military. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about that? How about You have two young sons, I understand. Uh, can you tell me about them a little bit? I actually have a daughter and a son. <laughs> Maker. And he's a security guy? No. No. 
No. What happened to Vinny? Vinny's a snake. We had to let him go. Gotcha. Well, okay. So tell me what you guys thought about that. How about that? Oh, that was fantastic. That was something. Huge. It was something, all right. Uh, them veterans? Yeah, I think I kind of missing the thought process behind the show, you know, about veterans and more. Well, we're the whole kind of concept, man. The big, big stuff like Jerry Springer. Jerry I mean, like the, Springer. Yeah, like the world's tallest oh, manager come on there. We'll have, uh, I don't know, somebody with uh, uh, four eyes, you know, stuff like that. You know, like that. So the show is Veterans and Bars getting bourbon, and you guys were interviewing civilians. You didn't even interview the best yeah, veterans. Work. And you did, you did it at a bar. There wasn't a Rambo out of punch. I tried to carry no him no bourbon in the show. Veterans Beer. Bars. Everybody loves beer. We'll bring in beer sponsors. Beer. Budweiser, Miller. You can't advertise oh bourbon on TV. Yeah. This is, we're taking it up on interview celebrities. Like the Super Bowl halftime show. You know, stuff like that. So, we're taking this, show. this is a resource show about veteran services and bourbon. You guys understand? Yeah, no, 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 not, not now. Well, we'll then, get rid of those veterans and we'll, we'll really jazz it up, you know. I get Ric Flair to come on here and hit somebody with a chair. You know, good stuff. Yeah, we you know, real stuff. stuff. Fun stuff entertainment for the family. Yeah. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you guys go. We're not going to be able to get a contract. We got a contract. He signed it. I saw yeah, it. I just signed a contract. We got a Bible. What a season. I know, and it says that's legal. Started. We were sued, and you caused damages at the bar, and we have full grounds to terminate you at any point in time. So Is that the contract? It's in the contract that you initialed and signed. Are you so kidding? you owe us three hundred dollars. By the way, did you want to write a check? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Damages. Well, we got paid yet. Well, we actually lost advertisers because of your show. So we're going to terminate you, we'll recoup the money that you lost us, and we're going to go back to the original concept. Check, credit card. No. There's $30 left on there. Sue us for the rest. All right. Good luck to you guys. Man. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Veterans and Bars Getting Bourbon. Like I said earlier, we had a blast filming it. Uh, special thanks to Jeff Day, who played John Blaylock, um, the newscaster. Of course, uh, we had uh, Vince the Snake with Jimmy Day and uh, Bobo and uh, um, Max Moneymaker with Frank Hendricks. Of course, we interviewed um, Dave Crookham with uh, Marines for Life. We also talked to uh, Lynn Arnold, who's with the Young Marines, North Kentucky Young Marines, and uh, Will Vestering did a guest appearance in there. Of course, the wonderful staff at uh, Smoking This and That jumped in. And how about, I love the, the shot with uh, Sonny and Delights. Um, they were awesome to do that for us. And we had some other special guest show um, appearances in there. Really just some of the patrons that were, were there wanted to jump in and help us out to film it as well. If you haven't uh, checked out Smoking This and That, make sure you go and do that. It's over in, uh, off of, in Florence, off of um, uh, Mount Zion Road. Of course, we took a look at the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. Uh, like I said, a little different being a, uh, a beer versus a bourbon like we usually host on this show, but now it probably makes a lot more sense why I decided to do that. Very good. Wonderful um, flavor. It has that, that, that hint of bourbon, uh, but it's not overpowering. It really sets well with the uh, beer. Um, that's made by All Text uh, Lexington Brewer and Distillery. 8.19% English Strong um, Ale. Very, very good. It's an award winner. So definitely check that out as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It was a lot of fun, and I look forward to your comments. Please subscribe. Cheers, everyone.